Hello and welcome to another Imperium Workshop Showcase where, you know, we kind of look at some, um, you know, ships, bases and cool things to do, you know, that people have built. So I thought we'd start off small being the second episode and then I kind of changed my mind and went, screw it! Look at that! Oh my god, look at it! Oh! That's right, guys. Freaking Arkham, uh, freaking Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. Batman. I love Batman. I love him with all my heart. So how could I resist? And it looks a freaking cool. It's like I'm walking through the gates of Arkham. Like I was a massive fan of like the you know the Ar Arkham Batman series game. And switched it off, me with doors, terrible as usual. And I, I saw this and I had the biggest nerdgasm. It was just, I mean, look at it. This is just further proof that everyone's better than me at building things in any game ever. I mean, I'm loving like these plants as well. Like, they look so cool. Did Pies and Ivor put them there? Who knows? Ah. But seriously, I mean, they look so cool. And earlier they were like glowing purple for some reason, but they're not now, so. Meh. Also, look at the. There's like statues, and I don't know how to get statues in Imperion. How? And they kind of look like um, Akuma from Street Fighter, you know. Um, but yeah, wow. and there's troughs. How do you get troughs? I don't know how to do any of that stuff. And so here we are inside anyway. And look, look at this. Look how well this has been done. Look, look, look at the signs. Look, welcome to the Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the Criminal Insane. Oh my God, we're committed to your safety. There's like lifts, there's restricted access and stuff. So let's let's check out the visitors. Why do I suck at doors? This is the visitors' quarters, and just how cool, how cool is this? You know, you could just see them bringing out, like, you know, the penguin or someone. Maybe not the Joker. Probably the penguin's easier. To, like, do some shady deal and thing. Ah, oh, it's just so cool. So cool. I'm in love with this just build so much. I want this to be my house. It'd be great. So, let's check out this. Oh, this, this is good. So, I like the way the desks go around and it just seems to fit in and you've got, like, is that a giant oven? <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Can I sit in the chair? It says I can sit in the chair, but it's not letting me, so... Come on. Sit. Sit. Damn it. Um, I just... I love how, like, detailed it is. I mean, I mean, there's even, like, walk this kind of way thing, so... But the guy's put so much effort into this. A willow, I believe. Oh. Gone too high, have I? We've gone too high? I've gone too high. I'm too high, man. 420. Blaze it up. Okay, so this is the first floor, and we're going to have a look around here. Let's see. Patient 40. Clayface. <laughs> Clayface just chilling as a giant totem. How do you get totems in this game? I want these things. I want these obelisks. I want them. Like, you know, in a big group. So, let's have a look here. I mean, I didn't even need to look at the sun, so it's clearly pies and ivy. It's so green. But it's so cool. Yeah, I love that it's just like the patient name and like the number and oh. Before I even look any further, I ought to instantly recommend this build. It's so good. So look. Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. Um, is that like a fish tank? This room's a bit empty compared to the others, but you know, it's cool. Like they have open toilets as well. Why should they have creature comforts? They're prisoners. They were caught by Batman. Or the Batif Man. If you're an idiot like me. Okay, second floor. What we got here? God, it just looks so... I love... Like... The way the the light comes in from, like, you know, the, the cool shade... Oh, look at this. Go out on a balcony, that's so freaking awesome. It looks beautiful. Oh, the two doors open. Ah! 
Oh god, it's so good. I mean, I don't know if you ever watched the series Garfield, but I'm a massive fan of that as well, so... You know... This is how I imagine it would look, and the fact that he's used a lot of stuff from, you know, Imperium... Uh, it's just so good. It, it, you know, you could see it being like a high-tech environment inside that old building, like in Gotham. So, you know, look at this, the file room. There's a belt. How'd you get those things? Seriously, how'd you get them? I want them. I want them on my house now, my real house. God damn. But as you can tell, I'm kind of impressed, so, you know. Oh, it's down here. Um, I just, I love the way how styled it is, I love the glass interior for the most part. You know, it gives it a feel of like a professional building. Oh, special lift. I, just, I can't believe how good that is. This took some effort as well, so you've got to appreciate the amount of effort that's put into this. Easily so far probably my favourite build, mostly because of the level of detail that's put into it. Um, just look at the tower. Oh, it looks so good against the skyline. I just, I can't. Seriously though, can someone tell me how to get them? Write down in the comments, how do I get those things? I want those things. Oh, I guess. So we check them out. Let's go and check out some of these other wings. Okay. Where are we now? See the Joker's room. Okay. Authorized personnel, solitary confinement, inmate ward. Okay. Oh, cool. I like this. Is this is good? This is just like basics, and then all the showers. Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. I didn't even know you could actually have bunk beds in the game. So you know, intensive treatment. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is kind of cool because there's a lot of in Piran, There's quite a lot of uh, deco stuff that looks quite medical and quite you know futuristic scannery and stuff. So you know, work definitely works there. Oh, okay, go here. Weird lift thing. Random toilet and shower. Okay, can we go further up? Uh, okay. Oh, that's. Strange. There's like a lift and lift. Okay. Not gonna say that's a bad thing. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Oh! 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 So terrible with doors. Oh my god, yes. It's getting dark actually. Um, that's so cool. You can just like imagine there's a guard tower, just a sniper up there ready to take someone out. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go back down. We'll go in the bowels of it. I believe there's bowels. Gone dark! I think that's an issue, actually, um, with this build. It's probably the one issue I've got now, is the lighting. I know it's cool that it's in the dark and it can be, like, thingy, but it's, it's a bit too dark. Um, there we go. Put my light on. Why not? But then again, I kind of like this now that I've got my light on like a like a torch and I'm looking around this abandoned Arkham Asylum. Ooh, now I feel like Batman, so maybe? I think the light, you should be able to, obviously you can change the light options as much as you want, so you can have it whichever way you want, but cool. Okay, what's down here then? So many like layers and floors to it. It's so good. This oh, this is is this the front entrance again? I may have just walked outside. Well, shit. He swears. Okay, let's check out the other side of the uh, prison. We're still yet to see the uh... ah. This is Mr. Freeze's room. That's so cool. It is that I like that. The blue, Mr. Freeze. I like it. Oh, the Joker. Well, of course. Absolutely, of course. It looks like an old 32-bit um, 3D graphics card. It's messed up on textures in here. It's great. God, I'm a nerd. I'm such a nerd. 
that looks good. Oh no, here's the back of the building. So, yeah. I want those things. Those things look cool. I want them. I want you, Akuma. Nah, let's, let's check out this. Let's see if there's any more to see. Ah, okay. Patient recovery room. Oh, yeah, it's like a little, little hospital. That's that's good. I like that. Oh. Well, the incident. Oh, that's um. Oh god, that's from Arkham Asylum, the original Arkham game, is it? I don't know. I'm probably talking crap. But uh, wow, so good, so good. And oh, can't see out the window. Never mind. It's breathtaking. It, it really is. Just the level, you know, the level of detail that's gone into it, and just the amount. I wonder how long, you know, I wonder how long this actually took to build. So, oh, here we are. Now we're in the bowels of Arkham. Oh, look at it. There's like plants down here and stuff. Ah, uh, good, good old poison ivy trying to uproot the building. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I will never make a pun again. Not promising. Oh, there's a little light there. It's cool. I like this. This is like the guard's court. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like the mess hall, maybe? I did not read the sign. Right, can I... Yeah. By the way, I love the new, um, like, G new GUI on this. It's so good. This is, obviously, I'm using the experimental version because a lot of builds have been done in that as well, so... Um, I like the new, I like the way it looks. It's cool. Especially if you're running at 2K now, it's pretty pretty damn good. Oh, just, you can just, like, imagine being Batman just being down here and, like, you know, investigating how the Joker got out. <laughs> Computer can... Oh, that's pretty damn good. I like that. You, you can imagine it, though, couldn't you? Oh, so... What? what? Whoa! More bowels! <laughs> There's more bowels to the ship! Ship, base, Arkham. I just. Oh, I like the way you can see underneath as well. Ah, oh, that's cool. This is. Ooh, hello. What's down here? I really like. You can just imagine, like, being Batman so much. So much. This is like making me want to play the Arkham games. No, I'm not playing them because recording series gets like a bit thingy. It's like Resident Evil. Uh, I'm, uh, but oh, okay. This is. I wonder. Like, I don't want to do it now because I really want to rip anything apart. But I don't know if you can go into like the the air ducts and stuff like Batman did in Arkham, that'd be good. Oh my God, this whole build is better than Suicide Squad, the film. There, I said it. And now I'm a little bit lost. Okay, where am I going? Oh, here's a door. Oh, well. Buggery. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Batman. I just blew a hole from you game. Ah, oh, but yes. I'm going to instantly recommend that you guys check this out. What a fantastic build. You know, applaud to you, Willow. You're just... Ooh, I like that too. Just so so good. So well designed. So well thought out. You are a fantastic builder. And I love you for this. One thing left to say. I'm Batman.
back to where we started. Um, this is actually, sorry about the lighting, I had to change things, it's, <clears throat> it happened. Um, this is called The Little Looter, um, by Wolf and Cr Wolf Fryden, yeah, I've put it in the thing. Um, and it's like, um, I know it looks like a hover vessel, but it's actually a small vessel, so it can go into space, which is cool. I never thought about doing, um, a small vessel, weirdly, that's, weirdly, wildly, I've never thought about doing a small vessel that's actually small, so it's kind of blowing my mind that you can, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, I didn't even think about this, and I thought, what a cool little shuttle, because, you know, I've seen bigger hover vessels, you know. Um, so I thought, since that's a small vessel, we've tried it on the planet, moves quite fast, quite nippy, turns very, very well. But it's not, I suppose it's not very fast going forward, I guess. Um, I noticed it was capping a little bit, but, you know, whatever. But it did, it felt good, and it feels like, you could imagine, it looks like one of those space cars you've seen Doctor Who, when there's loads of them going past on a highway. So, anyway, we're going to take it into space now, and we're going to see, you know, how it handles in space. And once we clear the Silent Hill-esque mist, Will, will I, oh, yeah, it's cool. I, do you know what I, I envision for this, other than being like a car, like going down a hover car type thing? I see it doing little transports up and down from the planet to like maybe a space station. Yeah, I think more a space. I, I could see this being a transport between a space station and a planet than maybe a ship. Although this could easily be an escape pod. Or if you had a load of these attached to like a big um, capital vessel, there could be like escape pods or little just fighters. Ooh! Oh, we need big space battles in this game, don't we? We really do. But I mean, it looks beautiful against the, you know, space and it handles really, really well. I can't find any. I, actually, I suppose there is one little fault with it. Um, and it's, I don't know if you noticed at the back, but a lot of the um, components are exposed. Um, a lot of the thrusters are exposed, so if you're in a fight with this thing, you go around the back, you, shoot, you can shoot it all to hell. But it does come in different colours, and you can colour it yourself, so yeah, definitely recommend it as a small little pod. Go for it, guys. <laughs> And here with our final capital ship today, it is the Battlestar Galactica, one of my favourite shows. Um, I was actually a fan of the original show. I used to, you know, it was one of those things that I got indoctrinated in when I was a small child. Thank you. I don't know why that's not abuse. But um, this is this is actually built in the experimental version. So if you want this. Um, You've literally got to use the experimental version of the game. Um, it looks good. It looks like the Battlestar Galactic. It looks like the newer one, more so than the original. But, you know, that's good because they both look really good. Um, it's a good capital ship. I, I could see, you know, a lot of good space battles with this. And it's very... I mean, obviously it's a lot smaller than the original it's not to scale, but I mean, I like this because one of the things I used to love about us, about us, like the, the, the little ships, um, the Vipers would land inside and it looks so cool and they'd shoot out and it'd be, oh, um, so yeah, we're going to go inside now, check it out. And yeah, it looks good. It's got that lovely grey feel of the the new Battlestar Galactica. The first couple of seasons that were awesome. Um, then it went a bit weird. But we've got showers, we've got living quarters. Why can't I door? Um, I presume yeah, that all of these are going to be crew quarters, maybe? Yeah, it's looking that way. But yeah, I love that grey military feel to this. It's... Um, he puts him on that any minute now you're going to be attacked and you you know you got to run to your battle station and you know there's a oh elevators here we have another oh we got a repair bay that's good to know because we always need them and I'm always busting up my ship so well wow. okay well let's uh, <clears throat> check this out. A 
Well, I had a coffin fit, sorry. Well, here's kind of like... I was going to say the mess hall, but it's not... Oh! Oh god, gravity, why? Why gravity? Well, I just found the spot where gravity ran out. That's... Awesome. This looks like a bar, like a mess hall type thing, you know. You kind of like, chill out. And it's exactly under the, um... Press the wrong button, never mind. The bridge. <clears throat> I am the captain of the Galactica. My name is Admiral Adama. I am fighting the Cylons. Look at me go. I feels cool. I love the way that looks at the back, actually. The thrust, isn't it? Oh, it just looks so cool. I'm really happy with this design. I'm really happy with... Um, again, the effort. It's like the Arkham Asylum build. It's the effort that's gone into recreate it is just immense. Really got to stop coughing. I know you didn't hear it because I cut it out, but damn, I'm coughing a lot. This is a really cool build. I wouldn't even. Oh god. Oh, well, um, help. Oh. I think I may. The ship may have. There we go. There we go. I would never be able to build something this detailed and this clever. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Just a little, just a little vent as you're coming down the left. Oh, these must be like sparring bays, maybe? Training facilities? I don't know. Maybe medi bays? I don't know. Oh, but it's cool. It, it just, it looks, it reminds me of Battlestar Galactica. Oh, the armory. Um, it reminds me of that show. It reminds me of, you know, the, the, the kind of nostalgia you would get from that. Fantastic. Um, the... Oh, that's something that they've added in the experimental thing, is, you know, you can have air in ships, which is something we were complaining about for a while. Um, oh, here we go. Engine room, maybe? Certainly the power room. Oh, and here's the... Oh, the warp core. Have a look inside here. And, uh, oh! Oh! What's happening? What's happening? I, I'm... Uh... Okay, so there's... No gravity? Too much gravity? That's weird. Okay, what's that about? Oh, I like this, the stairs going up. It's very science fiction feel. Very, very science fiction feel. Reminds me of that show that's on Netflix, Expanse. It's probably on another channel as well, but yeah, I like that. It reminds me, right, zero gravity in the chamber. That's pretty cool, I guess. It's very science fiction, isn't it? <clears throat> I just can't believe, like, you know, the the amount of time and effort that people put into recreating these builds, for me, is fantastic. I mean, I once actually built a Viper for this, and then I went and looked, and somebody already built it. Because, well, I was... But I felt good that I built it, so that's a good thing. But, um, you know... Much credit to anyone who builds these kind of things because you've gone to such you know, a level of detail. You've tried, you know, you try to build it to to a scale. You know, there's only so much you can do to think. But anyway, let's have a better look at the outside of the ship. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you.